Hey guys, and welcome back to LPT Guys Final Cut Pro tutorials. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the workspaces feature in Final Cut Pro that many users are not utilizing. This is one of the new features added in Final Cut Pro 10.3 and allows you to arrange your display to maximize your efficiency depending on what you are doing at the time. If you enjoy these tutorials, please like, comment, and subscribe below. So let's get started. First, let's open up Final Cut Pro and take a look at the default window setup. In the top left corner, you have the library sidebar and the clip browser. This is where all your source clips and projects are displayed. This is also where you can access photos, iTunes and GarageBand audio, and sound effects. And if you click the titles and generators sidebar, this is where all your titles and generators are stored now, instead of down here where it used to be in the previous version of Final Cut Pro. You can also show and hide the sidebar to make more room for the clips in your browser. In the middle of the top of your screen is a viewer, which displays the frame that your skimmer is currently over and where you can watch your clips. And over on the right hand side is the inspector, where you can find all your clip info and adjustment parameters. What's shown up here will be different depending on what is selected in your browser or your timeline. The bottom of your screen is where your project timeline you are currently working on is displayed. This is also where you can display your effects and transitions browser. Final Cut Pro's default window works great for building your project, but in the 10.3 update, Apple included a couple more window presets. One for before you start your project for organizing your source media, and one for after you finish building your timeline for adding color correction and effects. To access these presets from the menu bar, select Window and Workspaces. Let's take a look at the Organize Workspace. This removes the timeline from the bottom of your screen and expands your top three windows vertically. This gives you more room to review your clips, favorite and reject clips, add keywords, and so on without having the timeline there to distract you. The Color and Effects workspace brings back your timeline, removes the Source Media browser, and replaces it with the Color Scopes window, used in color grading and color correction. This workspace also opens the Effects browser in the bottom right corner, where you can add video and audio effects to your clips. These are Apple's pre-made window presets. Final Cut Pro also allows you to move, resize, and toggle individual windows on and off. Once you have your windows set up just the way you like them, you can save this configuration as a custom workspace. From the menu bar, select Window, Workspaces, and Save Workspace As. Now, you can easily go back to this window configuration by selecting it from the Workspaces menu. Personally, I love this feature in a 10.3 update. It allows me to quickly set up my windows and remove all distractions for a more efficient workflow. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. New videos weekly, sometimes maybe even twice a week. If there's a particular topic you'd like me to discuss, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to explain it. Also, check out my Facebook page, linked in the description, and share your Final Cut Pro projects there to gain some exposure and for feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.